The Central Region's Glyn Purnell is getting fired up now. And although he beat one of last year's champions, Sat Baines, to get to these finals, they're obviously still good friends. Hello? Yeah, Chief. Oh, Chief. I'm just in the middle of burning my eggs, yeah? And uh, my, old, my old mucker rings me up. So it's a shame you're not here, mate, because I could have done with the little lifts, because uh, I've had a bit of a rough week, Chief. Really? Yeah, it's been all right. Anyway, mate, I've got to go, mate, because I've got a couple of minutes oh. left, but, but uh, it's been great. Hey, good luck, Chief. Nice one, mate. See you soon, Bye. yeah? Bye. Dude, bye. That's not the sat, is it? That's the that sat. That's that is the only, there's only one of them. He's serving an eggshell filled with burnt English cream or creme brulee, accompanied by strawberries marinated in dessert wine, crumbled honeycomb and fried tarragon leaves. Excuse me if you think I'm being rude, but I've got a crack on. Well, this is your big one, isn't it? Well, this is it, mate. This is the, uh... the last chance saloon. He may joke around a lot, but Glynn's actually very serious about the competition. And this dish could be his best chance of getting to the gherkin. Jase, you got my cream? Yeah. Yes. Well, that one? No, no, my one of the back, uh, Chief. Get it back in here. What was one? My cream. No, I touched it. Oh, sorry, mate. So you're See up what I mean? You're up first, then, are you? That's the amount of pressure I'm under. Oh, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit jittery to that. I'm a little bit, like... Because I know this is my last chance, and obviously Jace is, you know, went in my fridge and I saw my so I said, oh, you know, you got my cream there, and yeah, but I'm just a little bit on edge, you know what I mean? I'm just a little bit, ooh, I need, I need this dish to go well. He can't afford to blow it now. It's essential that Glyn keeps a steady hand as he plates up. The first step, some custard and jus, then the marinated strawberries, the honeycomb, and all it needs now is the creme brulee egg. And the the resistance. Obviously, yeah. just be careful, gents. The uh, big cup might uh, look terrific, that. Doesn't Looking at which good. boys, I'm just glad to get that one out of the way. Modern British, that, isn't it? Oh, I'd like to think so. It's amazing. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Just glad to get that one out. Hopefully, top three this time round. <laughs> I'd absolutely love for this dish to be put, put up in the top three. I'd love to win it, you know. I'd love, I'd love this dish to say, well, yeah, OK, I mean, that's modern British cookery. Glyn's had a terrible week. And now we'll find out if he's finally got it right. Oh, my goodness, look at that. <laughs> I think this looks amazing. I know he's changed it uh, in terms of the look and everything else. I love the strawberries. I mean, they're just, so they're sort of perfect, aren't they? I remember what that tastes like, and in my mouth, I'm just salivating here. I'm dribbling. I hardly need to eat the, the strawberries, because I get the smell of strawberries so strongly mm. from there. Well, <laughs> this is delicious. I just think this is the most wonderful take on strawberries and cream. Nothing could be more um, British than strawberries and cream. I mean, I didn't think you could make a strawberry, a perfect strawberry taste better. Mm. With the combination of that little tarragon with salt on it and the star anise, and the, it's just fantastic. Burnt cream is a real test of chef's skill. You know, I mean, very few people do it amazingly well, and this is a person who's done it amazingly well. I mean, it's just of the highest quality. There's so sort of absolutely perfect pitch in terms of acidity and sweetness, mm. of creaminess. This is a truly sexy bit of mm. cooking. Isn't it? This has that composite element of pleasure, of indulgence mm. and of joy. Absolutely. Um, this is the one I want to have a second helping. <laughs>